So you just installed Unreal Engine 5, you were experimenting with it and you noticed some noticeable lag in your game engine. So you're about to quit, but then you found this video about how to fix this lag in Unreal Engine 5. And I'll show you three ways and three different methods how you can go even further in optimizing Unreal Engine 5. But this isn't without any consequences and I will show you what to keep track of and be aware of. So first solution is to change the settings. Go right here to settings. Then you find engine scalability settings and you can change the settings here from Epic, which is the highest, which costs the most CPU and graphical performance and change the ones from post processing and shadows to high or to medium. Once you've done that, you immediately notice a better performance. Now, if this isn't enough, you can also go back to medium or when you are done working in the engine, you can change them back to Epic and upload your game. So. If this isn't enough for you, I got another one. Follow me right to Edit, and then you go to Project Settings. When we open up the Project Settings on the left side, we go to the Engine, and then we find Rendering. Click on Rendering, and then you're going to look for Lumen. Or you can also type in Lumen here, because this one is the new lighting system in Unreal Engine 5, which causes older computers to lag. And instead of Lumen, we are going to use Ray Traced Deprecated. This way, Lumen will be of lower quality, but our project will run much more smoothly. Now, try that out, and if it works, great, you have Lumen just in deprecated mode. Now, if this still isn't enough for you, we are going to disable Lumen and use the old way that Unreal Engine 4 used to get lighting. Then you go to Screen Space, and then here we go to Global Tracing, and then you're going to type right above here global illumination check that again that is surely on screen space then you're going to check the shadows because these may also lag for you and then we're going to change the shadow map method to shadow maps then we're going to look up the reflections and instead of lumen we are going to choose screen space here as well now when we go back to our project we will notice immediately our game is running much more smoothly and, and I can edit much faster than I used to before. And the good thing is you can also change the settings that we changed previously back to how they were before. Now there's just one minor detail that is that we have to bake our lights again. Because if I move this now you can see the shadows are still here. So we have to use bake lighting. We have to go to build, then build lighting only, or just build all levels like we have to do in Unreal Engine 4. So that's the downside, but you can use everything else from Unreal Engine 4 from now until you have a better CPU or better graphics card. So yeah, light baking is a bag for these people. But just make sure you have the settings here and change this one first, because if you can work this way, you still have lumen and you don't have to bake lighting again. Okay, hope this helped. And I hope you can use Unreal Engine 5 now to finish all of your projects.